What is up, guys? Welcome to today. So today we have a very interesting video for you today. We have a bunch of these Northern Lights mugs that uh, we're gonna announce the winners of who won the March Madness because we have a like 10 of these that we're giving away. We also have a bunch more that we're gonna sell. We're in an interesting time. Well, we're in an interesting time in history. Um, but for myself personally, we, uh, we're in an interesting time right now because our coffee shop, our main original coffee shop, Mocha Monkey, which is in like a 100 year old home. So we have very few customers because of the COVID-19 situation. It's a really rare opportunity to be able to get some things done, like painting, remodeling, like, you know, most of the time we're open 360 days a year and there's no time to do anything. So this month that, you know, hopefully it's only a month that we have to be like kind of shut down. We're not shut down, but we just, we're only doing like takeout and like delivery stuff and whatever. So, let's put my seatbelt on. I've been really not doing much pottery for the last four or five days, which is probably, I've probably done less pottery in the last five days than I had to have in like a long time. But today's an exciting day because we are, A, we're finishing up a project at the downtown store where we refinished the wood floors. B, we're gonna throw some pottery, which I haven't done in like five, six days, which I'm really missing. And D, the ice went out on the lake. Did I say A, B, D or A, B, C, D, whatever I said. The ice went out on the lake like four or five days ago and me and my buddy Brian are gonna go wakeboarding. So the water is gonna be like 40 degrees or very, very cold. Um, but I think, you know, we always try and go wakeboarding early in the year with wetsuits, obviously. That's the game plan today. It's kind of just like a random day in the life of JTP during the COVID crisis. Cause normally I would be spending a lot of time making videos, making pottery, doing all that jazz. The videos might be a little light for the next month because we're trying to get as much stuff done. Like it's a, uh, it's a lot of stuff. Like we're remodeling some of the stuff behind the counter. We're redoing the floors. We're painting upstairs. We are just, we might put this new espresso machine in. I do want to take all the pottery that's there on the shelves right now, since we don't really have any customers there. And I want to put it up online for you guys to buy. So I'll give you a little preview of that too. And I'll probably list what date the Etsy restock is gonna be here. It's gonna be a good, fun video. I hope you're ready. It's a good day. All right, this is Future John, and I wanted to let you guys know that we have an Etsy restock this Wednesday, April 15th at 6 p.m. Central Time. We have a ton of really cool stuff, including the classic, the winner of March Madness. Back to past John. Go to Fresh Poly. And then this was like a greenish color that was coming off, so we repainted that. And here's all the furniture. So it's been at least three or four years since we've done this. And it's looking pretty good. So we're gonna get another coat on here, and then we shall get on with the rest of our day, which hopefully includes making some pottery. All right, let's do it. Well, we just got done at Mocha Monkey, got the floors pretty much done. Um, and as you can see, the roads and the streets are pretty empty, which is kind of unusual. I mean, typically right now would be one of the busier times of the week for us. But uh, this virus has caused us to be very slow. So there it is. But we're on to the rest of the part of the day. So we're gonna go home, hopefully throw some pots, and then uh, hopefully get some wakeboarding in. Was it 11 o'clock right now? It took us like an hour maybe, a little over an hour. Got our coffee. I'm just, I'm feeling optimistic today. I feel very good. How are you feeling? Just in case. Maybe I should just wear this all the time now. I just can't, I can't do it. I can't wear that all the time. I just can't get my head around that. What are you doing there, bud? All right, let's go in. Let's go in. The biggest spots. 
Yeah, I did make those pots. Now we're home, now we're gonna throw a few pots, and then the day is looking nice, so we're gonna get out on the lake. All right, let's do it. Come on, Bear. You run in? <laughs> I want to All right, let me just post this TikTok and then we'll get you some clay. Okay. Post, ready? Post! Go follow me on TikTok. What are you gonna make, bud? Bowl. You gonna make a bowl? Nice, right there. How's that? Good. All right, should we start the wheel? Get a little more water. All right, should we throw it together? No, no, myself. Here, look. Can I help you center it? Nice. Okay, put your thumb in there. I need a towel. Huh? I need a towel. You need a towel? No, I I need a towel. What? I need, I need a tool. A I tool? Know. You need a tool? Yeah. I know this thing. Dad, you're over there. You want me to go over there? How's it going? Ryder, what are you working on? Pass. Make, 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 make ball. Making ball, us. You're making a ball for us? Yeah. Thank you. Making, no, no, I'm making paint, you and dad. Okay. See, I put my thumb. All right, guys, it is time to go wakeboarding! All right, I'm switching over to my GoPro. Let's do it. Don't need the snowboard anymore. Time for the week. All right, so I have my my wakeboarding winter gear because even though it feels amazing outside, the water is gonna be freezing cold, so. All right, let's do it. It's just me and another one of my friends who lives like a mile away on the boat. We're gonna stay six feet away at all times. I both washed my hands. I brought disinfecting wipes, so we are we are taking into account all social distancing measures as well as Minnesota has not said anything about not boating. Actually, they've said that you can boat and that you just as long as you maintain six feet of distance, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So just for all of you there that are like, you're not supposed to be doing anything. I mean, maybe I'm not supposed to be doing this, but I have to, I just have to. Might as well. First round of the year. Done. Right there. It was a good ride. Also, my hands are freezing. Now we're on a walk on the golf course. I'll be right here. With the family. Beautiful day. For your YouTube? Yes, this is for the video that I'm making about today. What? 
See in the sky. Yeah, see in the sky. Say subscribe. So, subscribe. Like. 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 Share. Share. Comment. Comment. All the things. All things. See you in the next video. See you next video. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey guys, so thank you guys all so much for playing the March Madness Mug Tournament. If you uh, are, if you don't know what that means, then. We matched up our 64 best mugs and we ended up with one winner. And it was the classic Northern White lights that we've been making forever. And uh, I made a bunch more of them, you can see right here. And we're giving away 10 of them to the people that played along. And originally I said that you had to do a couple different things and then I kind of realized and people had pointed out that like, how are you gonna tell if people's Instagram names aren't the same as their YouTube names? So my solution to that was we picked five people that played along on Instagram because you had to go and vote on Instagram to play. And we picked five people who voted or who commented on that original YouTube. If you did all of those things, then you just increased your chances. But if you only did one, then you still had a chance that you could win. And we had over like a thousand comments and we consistently had over 5,000 people that were voting on each matchup. So that was really, really fun. But here are the winners, right here. So out of the original like thousand or so comments that picked who they thought would win, there were over 30 people that picked the Northern Lights. So five of those were the winners and they are Miss Harcher, Clar Vollenberg, Todd Tidwell, Nancy Alzola, and Jay Chess. And then the winners on Instagram are at Rachkoff, at Courtney Malat, at Crazy Katnana, at David DeLong, and at Sarah Hodzik. So thanks everybody for playing along. Remember how like three days ago in this video, okay, it wasn't three days ago, it was probably like four or five days ago, I was wakeboarding outside? Well, I just wanna show you right now what it looks like in Minnesota. It, there's like two inches of snow on the ground. I was just wakeboarding like not that long ago. Craziness. I tell ya. Sometimes I don't know why we live here.